In today's video, I'm going to be replacing my fluorescent light fixtures with these LED light fixtures. Now, these are made by American Green Lights. They are 24 watt. They are the 6K uh, daylight white fixtures. And so right now I've got fixtures that plug up to outlets in the ceiling. I'll be removing those and hardwiring these fixtures in its place. So I'm really excited about this change. I'm looking forward to some really good lighting here in the shop. So let's get right to it. So the first thing I wanna do is just take all of the fixtures out of the box uh, and just get them ready to, uh, just to, so I can access them quickly. Uh, and then at, once I get one put up on the ceiling, I can just grab the next one. And I, I don't have to keep dealing with these boxes uh, throughout the project and just go ahead and get it done and get it out of the way. Also, another reason I'm doing this is so I can uh, get all the screws and the wire nuts uh, and just the mounting hardware that's in each one of these boxes along with the instruction that is rolled up in each one of these. So. As you can see, there's an individual pack for each package, uh, and I'm just taking all the screws out and putting it in this little bin. And then what I'm doing here is I've got a magnetic wrist strap from uh, Atlas 46, and that allows me to just to put the screws on my wrist. And while I'm working, I don't have to hold on to the screws or you know put them on the ladder or anything. I can just grab a screw off my wrist and then screw it through the through the fixture, through a couple of mounting holes, and into the ceiling. So the first thing that I did after uh, getting everything laid out is just mounting these things to the ceiling according to plan. Now I've got a, a lighting plan along with the fixtures from American Green Lights, and it gives me a general idea and a general uh, plan to follow as far as layout goes. Uh, so laying these things out in the proper location uh, is a good idea to make sure you've got proper light distribution across your shop um, you know you can always add some here and there once you get done uh, but it's a good idea to have a plan going into this now i want to stop just a second and just recommend consulting a licensed electrician before working with any electricity i'm comfortable doing my own electrical work uh, and have a close friend of mine that is an electrician. So if I had a question, it was easy for me just to uh, text him and ask him a question and that kind of thing. But it's always a good idea to consult a professional no matter what you're doing uh, because that particular person may see something that you don't or have a better idea about something else. So always consult a, a local electrician before working with electricity. Now, what I'm doing here, I just removed uh, a couple of... Uh, outlets in the ceiling where my fluorescent fixtures were plugged up to. Uh, by taking those out, this gives me a connection point to be able to run some wire in some different locations uh, and different directions uh, to these LED lights that I'm installing. And one way that I'm doing this is once I have one light uh, wired up and the actual LED strip connected and secured in place, I I'll go ahead and check and make sure that that particular light is working before we're moving on to the next one because uh, this is just going to eliminate some backtracking if I ever have a problem. So once I get that all secured, I can turn the breaker on and then flip the switch and then hopefully the light will come on. That tells me my wiring's correct and then I can move on to the next one. So that's what I did. So that was basically my plan. Once I had all of the fixtures mounted to the ceiling, uh, I just went through and wired up each individual light fixture one by one and then checking it before moving on, uh, which worked out pretty good. Uh, I, I don't see any other way of doing this, but one thing that I will say, like working around this dust collection uh, duct, if I had a, had my lights in place and then had to come back and do dust collection, I probably would have had to move some things around. So I'm glad I had these obstructions already in the way so I, I knew where the lights would best be suited uh, and not had, to, not had to be blocked by anything. So keep that in mind if you're planning to uh, install lights or up, upgrade your lighting situation in your shop is, you know, plan around obstacles. As far as the installation process, I mean, this is nothing more than just connecting some wires 
in each light fixture. It's really, really simple. Um, but going back to what I said before, always consult an electrician when doing this. Uh, but it's really as easy as just connecting some wires. Uh, in my case, they were all this, you know, color coded, so I would just connect the same colors. Uh, but that may not be the case in in your shop or where you live. Uh, so, and that's another reason why I recommend consulting a professional is because you may have some different color coding or your wiring may be substituted by a different color for whatever reason so just keep that in mind uh, but in my case this this was a very simple process uh, mainly because I knew going into this um, that I was comfortable doing this kind of thing and that's pretty much the whole process in installing these lights whether you have just a few of these or you have 20 of these uh, it's the same process you just do it over and over until you get done installing all of your lights all right so hopefully you saw how easy this was to change out the light fixtures from fluorescent fixtures to led fixtures it's really not any different if you're hardwiring your fixtures um, i had the fluorescent fixtures plugged up to outlets but i went ahead and hardwired all of these and i'm not an electrician so if you're not comfortable doing this yourself, I recommend consulting your local electrician um, to get a better idea of what's involved. But for me, it was really easy. Uh, these are the 24 watt, four foot, 6,000 K daylight white fixtures. Uh, it's just a big difference in here as far as color goes. I mean, I can actually see true color. I've got even light across my shop now. I feel like I can see better in here, uh, which is important. Uh, but I want to say thank you to American Green Lights for sponsoring this video and for sponsoring this project. Uh, and there are they're also providing a coupon code for you guys if you want to save some money to upgrade the shop lighting in your shop or even to actually get some lights in your shop for the first time. Uh, that code is Stone and Sons. I'll leave all that information down in the description that will save you 10% off your order. Uh, so be sure and give them a look if you're interested in, in upgrading or installing lights in your shop. So as always, thank you for watching and be sure and check out the website article that is linked down below. There I'll go more into details uh, about the project and how I did things and why I did things. So it's always more information over there than I can provide here in just a you know, few minute video. So check that out and we'll see you next time.